Hello everyone. Welcome to new class. Today's class is about the electrical systems. That is the models of electrical systems used in control system. So the models of electrical systems can be obtained by using resistor, inductor and capacitor. The current voltage relation of resistor, inductor and capacitor are given here. So here in the case of resistor, voltage across resistor V of T is equal to R into I of T and current through the resistor I of T is equal to V of T divided by R. In the case of inductor, V of T is equal to L into D by DT of I of T. And I of t is equal to 1 by L integral V of t dt. In the case of capacitor, V of t is equal to 1 by C integral I of t dt. And I of t is equal to C into d by dt of V of t. Where R, L and C are resistance, inductance and capacitance respectively. The differential equations governing the electrical systems can be formed by writing Kirchhoff's current law equations KCL by choosing various nodes in the network or KVL that is Kirchhoff's voltage law equations by choosing various closed path in the network. And the transfer function can be obtained by taking Laplace transform of the differential equations and rearranging them as the ratio of output to input. Let us do an example. Obtain the transfer function of the electrical network shown in figure. So this is the figure given. So here output is V2 of t and input is E of t. So we have to find the transfer function as V2 of s divided by E of s. So either we can use KCL or KVL. And here let us apply KCL. So for that we have to con convert this E of t into I of t. That is convert this voltage source into current source so this voltage source is in series with this resistance that we have to convert into a current source in parallel with the resistor so after converting we get there is a current source and that value is E divided by R1 and this R1 is in parallel R1 then C1 then R2 and C2 now we can consider as this as a node so this is a node and let the voltage be v1 and this is another node and the voltage is v2 now consider node 1 so at node 1 applying kirchhoff's current law we get v1 divided by r1 plus the voltage across c1 is c1 into sorry here we have to consider current that is at node all the current we are considering so v1 divided by r1 and here the current is c into that is c1 into dv1 by dt that is v1 by r1 plus 
c1 into d v1 divided by dt next is the current through this r2 and that is v1 minus v2 divided by r2 v1 minus v2 divided by r2 and that is equal to this is the current flowing to towards this node so we can write e by r1 now take the laplace transform we get v1 of s divided by r1 plus this one is c1 into dv1 by dt is s into v1 of s then plus here v1 of s divided by r2 minus v2 of s divided by r2 and that is equal to e of s divided by r1 so in this way we are writing the laplace transform of this differential equation now here v1 of s is common that take outside then we get 1 by r1 plus c1 or we can write s into c1 then plus 1 by r2 then minus v2 of s divided by r2 equal to e of s divided by r1 so this is the first equation now at node 2 so at node 2 we have to write the differential equation that is the current is here v2 minus v1 divided by r2 plus current through this capacitor is c2 into dv2 by dt c2 into dv2 by dt equal to 0 because here there is no current source so we can write it is equal to 0 now we can take the laplace transform that is v2 of s minus v1 of s divided by r2 plus c2 into s v2 of s now here we can write v2 of s as common then we get 1 by r2 plus we can write s into c2 then minus v1 of s divided by r2 and that we can take in the other side v1 of s divided by r2 so from this one we can write v1 of s equal to r2 into 1 by r2 plus s c2 into v2 of s and here we can take the lcm that is r2 into 1 plus s r2 c2 divided by r2 into v2 of s that is 1 plus this r2 we can cancel s r2 c2 into v2 of s and this is our first equation now put the value of v1 of s in this equation that is sub put equation 2 in equation 1 then we get 1 plus s r2 c2 into v2 of s into 1 by r1 plus s c1 plus 1 by r2 minus v2 of s divided by r2 equal to e of s divided by r1 now we can simplify this that is here 1 plus s r2 c2 into v2 of s here take lcm that is r1 r2 
that is here r1 plus r2 plus sc1 r1 r2 then minus b2 of s divided by r2 then equal to e of s by r1 here we can take v2 of s outside then 1 plus s r2 c2 into r1 plus r2 plus s c1 r1 r2 divided by r1 r2 minus 1 by r2 then equal to e of s divided by r1 and here we can take the lcm that is v2 of s into lcm is r1 r2 here 1 plus s r2 c2 into r1 plus r2 plus s c1 r1 r2 then here we get r1 that is lcm is r1 r2 then here we get r1 and that is equal to e of s divided by r1 and this r1 we can cancel here now the transfer function is output is v2 of s divided by input e of s and that is equal to r2 divided by 1 plus s r2 c2 into r1 plus r2 plus s c1 r1 r2 minus r1 so this is the transfer function of the given network thank you for watching the class if you like the classes please like share and subscribe my channel